Now, see this is the variation of a specific heat of water with the temperature. On the x axis, we have taken temperature in degree Celsius, on y axis, we have taken a specific heat in calorie per gram degree Celsius. When the graph is plotted with the help of the experiment, the graph is like this. So, see here the variation of a specific heat with the temperature is like that and one is coming around here like a 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius specific heat is around 15 degree Celsius. Around this temperature specific heat is your minimum and now around this one 0, 0 around the specific heat is your maximum. So, see here the water shows peculiar property, peculiar behavior because of the variation of the specific heat with the temperature and you know water has got the large specific heat because of that it can be used for the cooling purposes because it takes large amount of heat to increase or decrease the temperature by a small amount. See a thermal capacity of a body is defined as the heat required to increase the temperature of the whole body by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. So, you can write here you know it delta Q the heat given is equal to m s delta T. If you are writing this delta T is equal to 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin, then we can write this delta Q is equal to m into s and now here this can be written as thermal capacity. So, thermal capacity is equal to here m into s and if you take its unit what will be here the kg into joule per kg degree Celsius, this is cancelled. So, you will be getting here its unit is joule per degree Celsius or joule per Kelvin. So, this is here the SI unit of thermal capacity.